So let's break the two words down for a second. Disciple. For a long time, I thought disciple simply meant student. You know, and so there was sort of this natural progression in um, life. You know, we we got we entered religious ed and we did first communion, and then eventually we did we got confirmed. And the whole idea sort of seemed to be that at some point we're going to make this step from being a student to being this active person. You know, to being, we're going to cease being a student, we're going to cease being a disciple, and we're going to start to be more active, to be an apostle, to be a missionary. And one of the realities is, if you look around the church, there's a whole lot of people who, they may stop going to school, but they never stop simply being disciples. They, they try to live a sort of passive faith. It's enough to come to church on Sunday. They don't let their faith fill the entirety of their life. They don't let their faith fill and inform their lives 24-7. Dictionary.com defines a disciple as simply being a pupil. But Merriam-Webster adds something different. Merriam-Webster's definition says that it's someone who accepts and helps to spread the teaching of a famous person. And that starts to get a little more missionary. And that's the point that I think Pope Francis is trying to make. That to be a disciple is not passive. To be a follower of Jesus Christ, we cannot simply be passive followers. It's not enough to just sort of be a Christian. We actually have to take our Christianity and let it inform the world. 